So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to bounce PolyFX particles off the ground. So I've got this simple scene set up. Um, I've got a floor object and I've got a cube with uh, 32 segments. And I'm going to start by creating a PolyFX uh, module. And I'm going to drop this into the cube. Um, first, I'm going to give PolyFX an effector. So I'm just going to go to MoGraph effector and I'm going to choose random. So we get this result. Um, and we can adjust the values under random. We can bring them in. Uh, next, I'm going to go to poly effects and I'm going to add a time effector. So adding the time effector uh, causes these kind of particles to animate. And right now it's set to rotation. So I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm going to give it position values. If I just play this back now, the particles are spreading out so that's the basics of creating an explosion. So uh, in some cases, we might want these particles to kind of uh, collide and then bounce off the floor. So first, I'm just going to go to poly effects and I'm going to go to fall off under poly effects and I'm going to choose sphere. So I can basically focus um, where the explosion is going to be. So I'm just going to set it around here. Just play this back and it's too slow. So I'm just going to increase my time values. I'm going to give it quite a bit of Z and I'm going to adjust the Y coordinate until they're kind of pointing to the ground. So I'm just going to play this back and as you can see, they're going through the ground. Might reduce Z slightly. Okay. I'm just going to hide uh, this fall off. So getting these particles to bounce off the ground is pretty simple. All we have to do is create another time effector. So I'm just going to click on poly effects, go to MoGraph effector, and I'm going to choose time effector again. And this one I'm going to call time bounce. And I'm just going to get rid of rotation and give it a Y value. Now I'm going to go to the fall off of this time bounce time effector, and I'm going to choose linear. So just bear in mind that uh, each effector has its own fall off and then poly effects has a fall off uh, as well. So basically poly effects is kind of merging all these effectors into one fall off. But we can also set a uh, fall off for individual effectors. So I'm just going to go to the fall off of the time bounce and I'm going to choose linear. I'm just going to pull it out slightly and I'm just going to hit R to rotate it. Hold down shift to make it snap to 10 degree increments. Then I'm just going to hit E and I'm going to move it down to the ground and I'm just going to play with the uh, Y coordinate. So now you can see the particles are bouncing up. So I'm just going to play this back and you'll notice that the particles are colliding and moving upwards. So maybe that's a bit extreme, you might want to reduce it slightly. And yeah, it's a bit of a hack, but um, it is one kind of uh, solution uh, to the problem because poly effects, uh, you don't really get that much control over the individual particles. And you can give some uh, rotation to these, just make them a bit more kind of scattered and random like that. So um, I hope that was helpful. If you find this tutorial useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.